Hello guys, welcome to my channel Node Developer. So today we are going to see how we can use the Preference Data Store in our app. Basically, for uh, using the Preference Data Store in our app, you need to have this dependency in your data file. So you need to have this. Here I have data class of channel details, which I am going to use to save the details. And uh, these are the two buttons in the XML, and these are the two buttons in the code. Basically, for one for saving the details, basically calling the function for saving the details, and the other one is for getting the details. Okay. So first we need to create a class, uh, which is simply I'm going to name this reference data store and uh, when we whenever I I'm going to instantiate this I will provide the basically context inside the parameter so import it here and uh, now uh, we need to instantiate our data store object okay for that basically we just need to use val context dot data store just need to provide the type which is data and inside this we need to provide our preferences and here you need to provide this preferences the core type and uh, then the by keyword we data store here and just need to provide the database name here for shorting that name context dot data store i'm going to use this ref variable basically in this we need to use uh, just need to put this actually now i just need to use ref keyword basically i'm going to create this function which is that data function now here if i call this ref then i can simply use the data or edit method both are the two methods uh, here we can also update the method setting the is i'm going to create a companion object in which i'm going to have three variables uh, basically this is these are the three keys first is basically channel name and uh, which is of type string preference key and uh, here i'm going to pref string preference key which is channel name then i'm going to have channel genre and it is also it's just a uh, type of string preference key and this is channel genre now here you can see i'm going i'm i i was using the string preferences key and uh, not the other type of the preferences key basically you need to provide the type of the key which is which which is the type of the data you are uh, putting this putting basically in the uh, value pair of that key basically okay so you need to have that value uh, according to that particular key so like uh, if i am put this here uh, subscribers the okay subscribers numbers so the subscriber count is in integer type okay so for that i am going to use int preference key so that's how you need to use this let's have subscribers here and uh, now we just need to set the details for setting the details we need to have some details so for that i'm going to use channel details object which is of rubber uh, as i show you already uh show you basically uh channel details data class now simply pref dot edit so here i'm going to put the channel name like channel name and uh, for channel name we have channel details dot channel name and then for uh, channel genre we have channel details dot channel genre and then we have subscribers for channel channel details dot subscribers okay so how that's how we can use this basically setting set the details okay okay now now the thing is you can watch uh we have a red line under the edit function so why this is basically which is uh because uh, we can edit the data in the in the sus suspend function okay so for that we need to make this function as suspend now you can do another thing which is like this is simple basically quality scope dispatchers dot uh, io and dot launch if i use this method inside the scope then we are i got nothing okay so you can do this also but i prefer preferred way is basically this uh, you can just make this function as suspend function okay uh, why suspend function because this uh, we need to suspend the coroutines here because uh, so that whenever the data set the data set then other tasks performed so for that we need to use this uh, then we need to use the uh, get details function we need that function also which uh, obviously returns our uh, the perf dot ref dot data dot map okay now i am map mapping the data because uh, whatever i have the data basically i am going to get that data okay so like uh, i am here providing the end channel name now here the thing uh, i am going to return the channel details object here and uh, inside this object i am going to provide this so for channel name i have this and uh, then channel journal i have channel genre and cha subscribers i have channel uh, subscribers okay now you can see uh, i'm getting the basically the red lines here if i uh, use this then you can see sometimes we are going to get the uh, null here okay so for that uh, we need to check whether if uh, we uh, we need to provide basically the other alternate ways uh, or edge cases here so for that uh, if the data is going to be null then we just store the blank 
okay uh, sim similarly this and for subscribers we are just going to put zero in it okay now this is how we can use and uh, we need to just simply remove this actually yeah that's it for getting the data we just know we don't need to use this now how we can call this function inside our main activity okay and how we can get the data and set the set to the ui basically so for that first we need to use uh, we need to basically preference instantiate our preference data store class which i created by providing that this as a context now uh, bt save data is dot set on click listen inside this I'm going to use a coroutine scope, which is dispatchers dot uh, dispatchers dot main uh, sorry dispatchers dot io here because we are setting the data inside the into the database. So here I'm going to calling the set details function, and for that we need some data. So for that I'm going to create a var channel details function and putting the customizable details. Uh, for channel name I'm going to put my name, and uh, for channel genre is is education. If it is a genre, I don't know. And for number uh, subscribers, uh, 1000. Okay, now you can just I'm, I'm going to just put in this. Okay, now the data is set to the basically in the into the preference data store. Now, how we can get this data simply reference data store dot get details function. And uh, I'm going to call this function inside the coroutine scope dispatchers dot main sorry dot io and dot launch here. And uh, I'm going to call this function here and just collect this data okay don't just get the details because uh, you are not going to get this details uh, as uh, your first call you need to just collect this uh, here you need to set a collector here so that uh, if uh, whenever the data flows into that function uh, we get the data here and uh, if we get the data here with context i'm going to change the context here as uh, with this just pages dot main and uh, just launch it here okay this is the uh, launcher basically with context this is the launch builder uh now we have the channel details here so we can simply put uh, now we have the channel details or details also and we are in the main thread also so just put the details here I'm going to put the details in the log basically and you can so that I can show you channel detail channel it as okay now this is this is fine it dot to string uh, to string okay now if I run this uh, if it is running here let it is installing and it is running now if I save the details the details get set and if I get the details you can see we have getting we get the details as like that for this video this is uh, it if you like this video click like button uh, for if you have any advice or feedback just comment it below channel uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for a uh, new updated for getting the updates of the about the new videos uh, yes yeah, see you later bye see you in the next one